Hey, Ur here. One and only channel for running a business in the US as a non-American, non-citizen. Today, I will cover everything you must know about Stripe Atlas. Stripe is the most used payment processor that allows you to accept credit card payments. Currently, it's only allowed in about 50 countries as I'm making this video right now. These countries that Stripe can be used as mostly European or a bit more developed countries. So to support its users globally, Stripe created Stripe Atlas in 2016 for the people who might have been born on the unlucky side of the map, just like I did in 97. Recently, they celebrated their fifth year with uh, 20,000 plus users in 160 plus countries. You may not be able to accept payments with Stripe uh, with your country's bank account and your identity, but luckily, you can get to start using Stripe with condition of you having a US business and a bank account. So I have lots of videos about how to get into opening a Stripe with US company and US bank account, but let's just get back to the solution, the Stripe Atlas. So the offer is actually pretty simple. They form a US company. Uh, they used to be only C Corporation when they started, but today uh, they both support C Corporation and LLC entity type for the company formation. Uh, one disadvantage is the state that they only do is only Delaware. So compared with other states like Wyoming, Delaware has high franchise tax fee. You don't get to choose any other state, which I don't recommend Delaware if you're just uh, a new beginner and, and with very low budget. Make sure you watch the video I have about which company type to choose and which state is the best one in my channel to learn about it all. Anyways, in addition to that, they also get the tax identification number of your company, aka the AIN, uh, and the bank account for your business. Also, you get access to their community and some other not super important stuff as well. To me, if you ask the most important thing they provide is they give you your Stripe account. Because if you get everything else like your company, EIN, and the bank elsewhere, you can be eligible for applying Stripe but that does not necessarily mean that they will confirm your application. Plus something very important and that is kind of weird, they don't include the ITIN and Stripe Atlas, individual taxpayer identification number, uh, which is SSN of non-resident like you, but today when you're applying for Stripe, they ask for ITIN or SSN straight up while you're signing up, but uh, when you go with Stripe Atlas, you'll be able to start using Stripe without ITN or SSN. I'm not super sure they may be asking for SSN or ITN in the future uh, after you start getting your account like using with them and you're rolling with them uh, with like doing additional identification verification uh, and if you don't pass they may be just shutting down your account. So to simplify if you go with Stripe Atlas you get Stripe without needing ITN but potentially can be asked in the future. If you get your company EIN bank elsewhere you also need to have an additional ITIN to apply and use Stripe straight up while you're starting. Stripe Atlas is only $500 as I'm making this video, but their price has never changed uh, since they launched in 2016, it's been $500 always. If you ask me, it's just great pricing and fastest way to get you to start using Stripe and accept credit card, bank card payments. However, even though everything sounds great, unfortunately, there's an issue. Well, if you ask me what will be the hardest thing to do in life, I would just say getting accepted by Stripe Atlas. Before you pay and start, you need to be accepted uh, after applying the application on their website. I've been in the industry for about five years. Quite honestly, I haven't met with anyone who ever got Stripe Atlas until this year. So I met with a guy who has Stripe Atlas and I just start hearing that some people got accepted. So if you're one of them, please let us know because I really want to meet with you guys. They have their every right to be picky with whom they're working with. However, if the main goal of the program is just uh, being able to make Stripe available for non-supported countries, what's the point of not accepting anyone? The twist is here. Once they form your business, they link you with Stripe. You must be using it regardless. So I guess they are picking Firstly, uh, more stable trusted businesses that uh, there won't be issues like chargebacks. And secondly, most importantly, bigger scale potentially doing good in the future type of businesses. Let's say the next Amazon is formed by Stripe Atlas. Think about how much uh, they would make with their commissions. 
That's the reason they show lots of different startups in their university videos, but none of the uh, e-commerce kings that I know or the, any consultants or service type of business entrepreneurs. So to simplify, if you can get accepted from Stripe Atlas, you always should try. It doesn't cost anything to apply with them. If you can get your Stripe Atlas, muzzle tough, you should get it. But for anyone who's looking for an alternative that covers everything you need as a non-resident to run a US business to use Stripe or PayPal, check myuslc.com where everything is fully ready for you to start getting payments, use Stripe directly, that type of kind of delivery. From company formation to EIN and ITN, even the phone number you need, they have it all. Also, do not forget to check the videos I made about opening a Stripe uh, as a non-US resident, US taxation, or which type of company you should choose. My channel is the best and only one that explains everything very simply and shortly. So I appreciate your time watching until the very end. Please hit the like button, which would mean a lot, and write down a comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe as well, and I'm hoping to catch you in my next videos.